Hi, I'm Scott. Welcome to Synth Stuff. Today, we're going to do a little bit of a challenge to see if you can tell the difference between the original Korg Poly 6 or a multi-sampled version played on either the Montage or the Wave State. Coming up next. So what I did is I took the Cork Poly 6, which you may have seen in my recent restoration series, which now has MIDI, so I can use Sample Robot with it to automatically uh, multi-sample it. So what I've done is I've taken this, and I've put a simple sawtooth waveform into it. Then I've multi-sampled that across the key bed, and then programmed it so that it works in the montage as well as the wave state. So I've actually taken recordings or samples of the Poly 6, put it in both these synthesizers, and now we're gonna see if you can tell the difference. Now it's not just the sawtooth sound, I've actually done a little bit of work with the filters. Now the wave state has a modeled Poly 6 filter in it that supposedly models the actual SEM filters inside the Poly 6. The montage doesn't have that, it has an emulation of a 24 decibel per octave uh, four pole filter that is what the Poly 6 has. So I've programmed that filter into the sound that I put into the montage and tried to tweak it to get it as close as I could. So now I'm going to play the same sounds from each of these synthesizers but with no filtering, just as the bare waveform. See if you can tell which one is which. All right, you think you know which one is which? Put your guess in the comments below. Now, this time we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna do a filter sweep. So as it's playing those same notes, I'm going to adjust the filter up and down so you can get a, an idea of what the filter sounds like. All right, last one. This is the same sound again, but this time, as I'm adjusting the filter sweep, I'm also going to adjust the resonance so you can get an idea of what the resonant peaks sound like in the, the filter as I'm actually adjusting the cutoff. So let's listen to that. So what did you think? Think you have an idea of which one is which? 
they're pretty close, but not quite perfect. And I think if I didn't know already, I think I'd probably be able to pick out the Poly 6. So let's give a listen back to all three of those tests. And this time I'm going to put the answers on the screen as they're playing. So what did you think? Is it usable? Is it possible you could get away without having an actual Poly 6 and just have a montage instead? That kind of sounds like it. Or what about the wave state? It's just playing samples as well and it has that Poly 6 filter. Well, my analysis is that the sounds are close. There is, of course, the analog issue with the Poly 6 in that there is a little bit of detuning between voices. Now, I did try to emulate that on the montage the individual voices are actually detuned a little bit, so you do have that ability to emulate. Wave state, not so much. The montage filter, it's kind of analog sounding, but you could definitely hear the stepping in there. Uh, there's some quantization, I think, in the filter cutoff, so it's not quite as warm and analog sounding as the real filter on the Poly 6. I was really surprised at the Poly 6 emulation in the wave state, uh, there are aspects to it that do sound like the real Poly 6 filter, but it's really kind of overbearing. Like, it's almost like they took the Poly 6 filter and then they turned it up to 15. It, it cuts off a lot farther, it, it self-oscillates a lot louder, a lot noisier. Um, yes, it sounds Poly 6-ish, but I think the Poly 6 filter itself is a little more understated than the one that's actually emulated in the wave state. I hope you like this little challenge. I did it really just for fun and just to get some Poly 6 uh, samples into my other synthesizers. If you like what you saw, please click like, subscribe, click the little bell. It really helps us out when you do that and you get notified every time we post another one of these videos. Thanks for watching.